may be the beginning of a long record. It's about an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, she could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to her? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe she could... No. She's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I ever catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the... Hey. What's happening to the ventilation system? This... What did you want to talk to me about? I have to suit up and drill the 3219K asteroid claim within the hour, so talk quick. I heard you had plans for the Jedi, about selling her to the Exchange. Yeah, but security already set their piece on that, didn't they? Nobody's getting sold to anyone. Are they? I've seen the logs you've been accessing. Maybe the two of us could work something out. It doesn't matter what we work out. We wouldn't make one hyperspace jump before what's left of the Republic was on us. If you have a way off this station, I can cover our tracks and ensure the Republic is not alerted to our presence. Well, I may know someone. Works the system on special jobs. He may want to know details, but I might be able to arrange transport. I've seen the logs. I know you've already asked him and given the details. Once he agrees, I can handle the rest. Handle the rest? Like how? When the time comes, I'll contact you via comlink. Maintenance out. Since when did the maintenance officer grow some horns? The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when... The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. 3, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are...
Trade of several barak to drun. Chris and true grey baba no flank to run a saga ninch. Grab away no cool set the batte. The ruins to also put in. They are into run to walk away quay wapa teratan and chinger adana. Ferrar and Padano, the ring tada and your camera chella free for no bodot. Dosene, caramala, blue incident and male rebe chinchin cranak tada. Relieve curundo some male grim grim con corregim bassa. Retu contrada summa con cherinum grum grum. Gayer a tada chemins a binger rucototo and the chuchur remanantra. They are into run to walk away quay wapa teratan and chinger adana. Ferrar and Padano, the ring tada and your camera chella free for no bodot. Dosene, caramala, blue incident and male rebe chinchin cranak tada. Manama trade of several barak to drun. Chris and true grey baba no flank to run a saga ninch. Grab away no cool set the bate bate. Drawinsto so put to Nelly of Grimpatado. Drawinsto busuto Nelly of Grampatada. Tele ronda nana nintolo gradatira. Dare into run to walk away que wapa teratana and chinger adana. Ferra rampada no the ring tada and your camera chella free for no bodot. Dosene caramalak blue incident and male rebe chinchin cranak tada. Ferra to rampada no ring and nail commercial chella free for no to run cover correct papanala and chinga. Totore is any sense. In the session, Tranda Ulon Trosnana, what is that? Manama trade to Silver Barak to Drun. Krisha and true grey baba no flank to Runa Saganinch. Grab away no cool set the bate bate. Drawing stole so put to Nelly of Grimpatada. Drawing stole busuto Nelly of Grampatada. Tell a ronda nana in Tolu Gradatira. There into Run to walk away Que Wapa Terratan and Chingaradana. Terra Rampada no the Ring Tadan and Camera Chella Fibor no Bodot. Dosene Caramala Blue Incident and Mel Rebe Chinchin Cranak Tada. Pedra to or pada no ring and nail commercial chella fibo no to run cover correct papa nana ran chinga to to re re sen 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 in the session tranda un non trust nana what is that on a june sen 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 drawi check and nail commercial chella fibo no lot your ears always were too big cn come on if the maintenance officer comes through on the explosions these dorms are going to be filling up soon and shut that damn data pad off and throw it down the refresher We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console's been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. The situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level, and we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. Managed to use the holo transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, 
we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. <sighs> the messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? The transmission gives the... What is it? This is not the time for questions. They are assassins, and they are responsible for the attack on the Ebon Hawk and the Harbinger. I did not expect them to find us so quickly. We must escape this facility. If we remain here, then we will die. And your stubborn blindness to our situation is equally frustrating. I would have expected more from a war veteran, but yet you disappoint me. They are assassins, and we must... What is it? in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Uh, alright. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, 
That warship's the only way off this station. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Clarification. Master, your well-being is of the highest importance to me. I was forced to intercede here on Paragus to ensure your survival. Indignant answer. Master, the miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly timed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories, where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. Answer? You misunderstand me, Master. Those droids were there to guard you. As I said, I did not anticipate you awakening from the tank. You are quite a hardy specimen for a Jedi. A wrong toe among humans, if you will indulge me the metaphor. Besides, as you proved, Master, such droids could never pose a threat to a Jedi. The droids were custodial in nature, cleaning the facility of other distractions. Answer. It is beyond the scope of my programming to probe the motivations of my clients, Master. Suffice to say that I am being well compensated for my services. You have been a difficult target to find. You have been wandering the galaxy since the end of the Mandalorian Wars, leaving little record of your passage. It is as if you did not wish to be found by hunters such as myself, or more likely, the Jedi Order. Chiding answer. My programming renders me incapable of revealing the identity of my client, Master. However, I am free to say that my client is wealthy and very interested in possessing the last of the Jedi. Answer. No, Master. Killing you was never the intention. If you resist my attempts to return you to your Kalto tank, however, I may inadvertently fracture your skeleton in several places to incapacitate you. Admission. It was a matter of chance, Master. I happened to be serving as a protocol droid on the Harbinger when you booked passage. After that, it was a simple matter to sabotage the Harbinger and call for a retrieval. Irritated statement. However, when the Ebon Hawk appeared and salvaged us from the wreckage, I was forced into a series of rapid recalculations, culminating in our current situation. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. I hear you. Oh!
word. More where that came from. I hear you. What is it? What is it? I know we need to get out of here. Like I said, it's a minefield looking for any excuse to blow. Look, I'd be happy to share my whole life story when we aren't getting chased by assassin droids and Sith troops, alright? Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Look. I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Nava computer. They'd have to. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge, I mean... Well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Our enemies gather while we wait here. What is it? Why are... Just say the word. Let me take care of this. Pure Pazak. What is it?
hard pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malik, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of her identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, she's got diplomatic level priority, whether she knows it or not. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that she reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure she arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I'm always being kept in the... D Query. You sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything she needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. Her safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve.